Hello, good morning, this is Diecast Loon. I hope you're all doing well. And this morning's video is going to be a quick look at um, a Hot Wheels 5 pack and another car from the main line, from Hot Wheels main line that I picked up yesterday when I was out about on my travels. So we'll get straight into it as I've got another video to upload today as well. So I need to get on with the videos. So we'll take a look at the one from the main line to start with. So I found this really cool Max Steel. Um, this is something that when I seen this, I think it was on the Lamley Group, Langley Group, I can never pronounce that properly. Um, this is what I thought I would definitely want to find and lo and behold, I come across this. And again, um, this was, not, there was not many left um, on the pegs, so to speak. They really are. These mainline Hot Wheels at the moment and Matchbox that root matter are flying off the pegs. Um, so, it's, you know, we're going through such a dry spell that as soon as any cars uh, are on the pegs, so to speak, they're gone. So to find this was really cool. So it is from the Rod Squad. And this is something that I am definitely going to be doing a wheel swap and detail on at some point in the future. <clears throat> Excuse me, but it is really really cool piece Plenty of potential there for a really good custom, but I'm not going to do anything with the paintwork. I actually like this sort of I don't know what it is like a flat gray color it looks a sort of like a tinge of blue to it But I like this flat gray with the 54 um, It could just do with a little bit of um, engine color And a decent set of wheels, but other than that it will be left alone as I really do think it's cool so I'm pleased to have this piece and it's synonymous. It's got that, um, uh, I kind of think what I'm trying to get out now. It's that sort of, um, oh, what's the word for it? Brain switched off again as usual. Um, salt flats car, that's what I was trying to get out. Um, that's what it's got sort of whole um, Bonneville salt flats, that's it. It's, that's got that sort of vibe to it. So very cool to find so that'll be one that i will be doing sometime in the future so that's the first piece and then we got this really cool um five pack well at least it's when i say really cool let's get a bit of zoom out two seconds we can actually get it into focus a bit um i was mainly after this casting this gasser um i think it's a 64 chevy nova chevy nova wagon so we'll get it opened up so let's just cut this top off this box very briefly so just give me two seconds to do that all right so let's get a bit more zoom on and let's open it up so the first car is the it's a little look is the 64 nova wagon gasser so this is the main reason i picked it up as i think this is really cool in this color and I do like this particular casting quite a lot. So that is the main reason. And even though I've said in the past, I don't usually pick up five packs or nine packs for one particular car or a couple of particular cars, but I made an exception, an exception with this one. So that is pretty cool. So it says Hot Wheels Gasser Club. So pretty cool. So that's the first piece. And then the second one is, so look, it is, I think it's a Fiat, Fiat 500C, which I thought was pretty cool too. The only thing I don't like about it is I don't like all this weird coloured, goldy coloured, brown coloured spoiler, or big hydrofoil, whatever you want to call it. But other than that, it is a cool casting. I do like the way it looks. So, and all this great big blowing engine on the front. So that is really cool. And again, I do like it. I think at some time I'll do something more. Well, do you know what? Actually, the actual fact, I quite like it as it is. I might not do anything with this, to be honest. It is, it is rather cool the way it is. But um, that is one cool piece. As I do like my gases and sort of cars with massive engines and hot rods. So and I think this one is the gas monkey car. I think it has a little look. It is the 68 Corvette Gas Monkeys Garage. So they've done this in a multitude of colors nowadays. I think they've done it in all sorts of colors, I think. They've done a dark, sort of a uh, flat gray one. I know they've done a, a gold one. I think they've done a yellow one. So this is obviously in the orange. So pretty cool. 
not too bad. And then this one's the bone shaker in the brown. So I've got quite a few of these. It's always cool to have another bone shaker to the collection. So let's have a little look underneath. Yeah, bone shaker. So that's pretty cool. And the last piece, if I remember rightly, is called, I think it's called the rigor motor. Yeah, this is called the rigor, rigor motor with this sort of spider's web going up the side. It's very similar to the um, Dragula from the monsters. It's got a similar sort of look to it. And to be perfectly honest, I don't mind the look of this either, really, apart from that it's not keen on the green plasticky bottom. But other than that, it's not too bad. So pretty cool. So we'll get them all out very briefly. So it is the it is the Hot Wheels exposed engine set. I should probably said that from the start. But for me, the main reason I picked the set up was for these two. But uh, not a bad set, and like I said, it's one I haven't seen. And it is from, looking at the date on the back, it is from 2022. It's got 2022 copyright on it. I'm just having a quick look. Yeah, so it's up to date. But anyway, with that, please like, share, subscribe. Stay tuned for more unboxing videos, vintage pieces, wheel swaps, customs, and all that good stuff to come. Um, like I said, I've got another video. I want to, I want to, I want to, I've got to do, um, the challenge that was set by um, Gary from Gary's Diecast, or I believe it was set by his wife, so I'm going to be having a go at that next. So that'll be my next upload. And I'll also stay tuned because I'm nearly finished my um, 62 Corvette Gasser that I was doing a few bits to. So that should be interesting. So stay tuned for that. But anyway, with that, I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.